for reference, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, the first one was the end of a day, you know, after I failed the first run. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. This set of six was another day. I'm feeling like today I might hit the adamantite seal. Let's do a recap of what I have for my own memory. I unlocked all of the upgrades. My workers can carry plus one. My newcomers come with extra stuff. The merchants come with additional blueprint. The beavers... Um... What is it that beavers do? Uh, I don't remember. Oh, extra trade routes. Uh, the buildings have more storage. The humans find me the crops. I start with five extra bricks. I can build harpy house and human house. Uh, the builders have, like, extra merchandise. Mm. Uh, I don't die on the first go. In fact, I upgraded that to 60 seconds. I start with five extra fabric. I can upgrade the hearth. The stuff from the merchants costs less. I can upgrade the hearth twice. The stuff from the merchants costs a lot less. Lockpicks from lizards. Cornerstone reroll. Charge. Let's roll. Click, click. I lost track of one of my tabs. Here. So my basic plan. Here, here, somewhere over here, somewhere over here. Might dilly-dally around here a little bit before going to the finale. Uh, let's go. You can choose from one Funer Cornerstone, so I imagine I'll be picking a lot of uh, 10 gold. Let's start us off really nice and easy. Uh, I'm really far ahead on the Seal Fragment count, and I have plenty of time, so I believe we will go easy, and also I will start uh, selecting the plus 4 Embarkment points for the last one. Power up, and as you know. Um, yeah, it's fine. There's some outside chance I might even dilly-dally and, like, get this question mark. Possibly. We'll see. Like, what if I went backwards and then this thing? Anyways. I hadn't even thought about it, but maybe I'd do that. Uh, I'll do more Viceroy. It seems like the best way to power up. And I will do the 10 plus the 2. Let's go. Nice easy one to start with. Real Woodlands. been uh, getting good at doing the Viceroy with the starting bonuses I have uh, to do it in five. Completing dangerous or forbidden glade events during Drizzle get me 30. I've been thinking also about how to better do this and I think I should open glades during the right before the storm. Alright, we got farmland right here to begin with. I don't need oil, mostly. Religion and education. I wonder if I first pick temple. Wouldn't that be wild? Religion, education. No, only one religious and one education here. Pretty bad first pick. Wine, maybe? Um, I do have two luxuries. Weird first pick, but I'll pick one. Pickled goods and jerky. Small farm. Good to set that up on uh, year one right away. Uh, porridge is good. Interesting first set of buildings I've got. All right, and unfortunately, I don't start with extra planks. So I think I want to immediately get my two planks. Uh, 
let's see I have 12 guys so I think we're going to shop it fast Is there an explanation for what biomes have what stuff in game? It is in the summary tab before you can also press escape to see natural resources stuff on trees. You can also roll your mouse over a tree to see what's on there. Uh, this is the Burl Woodlands biome, lots of wood. So uh, really would I need to get more wood beneficiary things. have the wood to get this started. Hmm. I guess we can start building this. I get my two bricks, or two farmers have double yield on their big biscuits. Um, yeah, here's where the reroll is best. First reroll. Receive 10 amber for every five completed trade routes. That's probably better than 10. Okay. Well, actually, I'm not entirely sure if that's better than 10. The 10 now lets me hit the first merchant up. It's available. Maybe I got baited. Solve buff 22, or 2. Um, this gets me guys. It is pretty tricky, but I did get Porridge. I'll uh, go with that one. Ten bricks. I didn't get any bricks. I'll get the tools. And trade 20. As usual, I pick the orders which do not have a cost associated, so I don't have to slow down my build at all. Man, if I started with planks, sure would turbo boost my economy. Unfortunately, I didn't get that. Uh, Ability. Gonna miss the last two bits of land there, but that's ten fields already, which is probably fine as is. Due to having the forge building, I will just immediately only plant grain. posts, get my ability to start trading with the makeshift post. Let's 
let's see, what do we got here? Number of sacrifices, don't gain reputation during the end, R rotting wood. Uh, this one is an extra penalty to resolve. Cool. Sales here, no. Nothing I can, nothing I have or can build yet. Set up my usual three house. Make sure I don't put them in the way of uh, chopping this down later. One, two. This can move around at no cost. Such a small amount of area I have. House, 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 park. Dream would be to find any geyser pump, and then I can just have a nice easy source of food, of porridge, for my two guys who like porridge. And I am going to chop this down, uh, because I do want to try to solve it during Drizzle, to fulfill that extra challenge of 30 random raw food. I believe I can handle the extra hostility of that glade. What was my extra penalty? One fewer cornerstone. Harmonies. Ooh, we got a large encampment. I don't have the resources to welcome the new people yet. Mm, I would love to calm the spirits. This is a really good benefit. But I may not be able to do it. Yeah, too ambitious to get the right. I'll just turn in 15 oil, make sure to stop burning oil here. Only have one fox, yep. Oh. So that should sync up to uh, finishing at Drizzle then. Cool, cool. Found a grill, nice. Uh, skewers. I need some way to get insect, or meat, or mushroom. Build a house for this poor fox. Mm. 
Unlucky RNG that Fox didn't get a house. Honestly, not sure if RNG though. Some provision. Anything to sell? Wow, that's a pretty good read sale for seven. The uh, one part for six is pretty good. As usual, year one, I got my shelters up, I got my trading up, a little bit ahead of schedule and then I opened a glade and then I got a farm set up. I've learned to not... What is it? Risk it too much. I can, I can pay the insurance money. Gain 15 amber every time you accept a newcomer group, but you'll lose all stored amber. Wow, very good one. And I have no amber right now. We have mostly beaver, so fox good to get more guys. Human good because I have to farm a bunch. Hmm, I think I'll lean towards human. Though I'm trying to do human resolve and fulfilling the desires of the single human is pretty good. Um. I'll go right. Pretty close. I'll go left, I need food. Speaking of I need food, probably time to step it up. Possibly long past the time to step it up. Delivered my first set of pack of provisions. Anything to sell that's reasonable? No. Honestly, one of my weaker openings. Probably because I spent the effort to open the glade at night. But I do get 30 food as soon as I get this set up. And that's timed correctly, at least. Uh, here I probably set up Rain Collector. And then I set up my... Tea House. I think if I point it that way, it can still exit the building there, right? 
Hmm, I'd rather not take the chance and find out. Looks really tight. Farloof's here, he's got planks and fabric. Missing the brick this time, unusually enough. Don't often see him come without the bricks. Lowers hostilities by 50 points if I want to make it easy mode, which I do. And click, I guess. I definitely want to pick up some of these building resources. I think I can throw a bunch of wood his way. So that you can do my production for me. I think normally uh, you would trade six to one. No, six to two at the trading uh, when you are you're, you yourself are crafting it. So this uh, 180 would normally be what 60 batches, so 120 planks. But the the time savings is incredible. Oh, also, value of goods sold. If I can sell eight more bucks of stuff, then I can get two villagers. Honestly, very tempting to just go for it. I have one buck. Toss in two gears. Toss in more of these. Make it eight bucks. Okay. Alright, we're booming. Get ten more bucks. <laughs> ten bucks, let's go. Oh, that's uh ten percent faster on roads of diesel. Bye bye bye. Alright, good to not have to worry about building a bunch of that stuff. Tavern, leisure, and luxury. This is a really good end game building. End game building though. But maybe I get it now. I don't see anything else that's useful. Trapper's building, herbalist building, forester's hut for resin. Yeah, let's just pick up the tavern right now. Fun pickup. I should probably have set up this farm earlier. Good deal, but I'm loath to sell my fabric. Also, is it just me or is this tea house crooked? Uh, I'm not gonna worry about it. Actually, let's see. It's crooked! 
<laughs> it's crooked. Not worth picking up the. Would have stopped the uh, production on it. Three trade routes of high value for six amber. Okay, well, now it's worth. get this thing started. 65 grain for 5 humans. Nice. So, 6 value. This is just for the purpose of getting to 6. My poor fabric. for completing the Harmony Spirit Altar. Forge about to pour on out. of human resolve. should pump into human resolve and then I get more guys. Get the guys early. I had this realization while I was playing. Let me sell two resins so I can get that to be a trade route worth six. That's all about turboing out these orders. So that you get more guys early. Or rather, it's all about getting more guys early. It's like kind of both. So that they can snowball your economy. You? Though you certainly have to, uh, as a result, hoe the line. Because I'm sure everyone can get a little bit nervous looking at the uh, low food count. But if you ride things right on the edge, it'll work out. Done properly.
Okay, I think once again I will... I'm, I'm considering opening both glades. You know, I just realized there's no reason to... Yeah, I can just do it now. This is a little bit... I've got enough time. Yeah. If I open that glade, then I can make the decision. If that glade isn't that bad, then I can open the second glade. And then we're rolling. Yeah, let's get five more guys. Alright, we are... We are really rolling quickly here. Use far this farm to get veggies for this encampment. Actually, a pretty good idea. Um, my other plan, though, which may also be a good idea, is Sahilda is on her way. That's the better way. And then we just buy out the veggies. Okay, so we got jerky. Not really a meat source out here. We can use this to build clothing eventually. Not bad. I'm already getting this. I guess it's this thing. And I don't believe coal is necessary on this map. Got the three star porridge, planks, tools, luxury, and take carpenter. So carpenter, weaver, both are good for the resource game. Minus eight to global resolve while working this. So one of the things I can't work during the night on. But I believe if I start at the very beginning of the day, That'll finish in time. I'm certainly not going to send my hard earned money. So given that this had no cost requirement, I think I can open the other glade. Yeah, let's do it. This is a, a different timing that I, I'm opening the glades on. Inspired a little bit by the idea, like I just heard it in passing. Hey, a good time to open glades is just before the storm, and I'm like, that's insane, you'd never work it, but... I guess it's the fastest way to have it set up. Uh, so that... It's there. And then you can plan in the night or something. Okay, we got tear down. <laughs> Penalty 315, holy cow. Uh, but we've got T, with no penalty other than kills one random villagers. This is a... Hmm. This is a really bad one for me, because I don't really plan on having villagers die. And this is uh, very punishing. Given that I have a lot of wild pharisons. But we can try to spend it down, I suppose. And then it's not punishing. But it might be hard to spend it down. Hmm. Reduce hostility every time a villager dies or leaves. Maybe I'll try some sort of like weird sacrificial strategy. <laughs> uh -huh. 
It's always fun. All right, I have the tea. Yeah. Bye, villager. Porridge for sale. This is a good value. But it's food. Can I afford to sell this food? I think so. Oh, trade routes are worth uh, six. Can I afford to sell 32 of it? Iffy, but sure. Cutters fell trees faster, but have a guaranteed chance of destroying the yield. Ooh, a geyser. I guess I should have everyone not shop since it's not productive right now. Unless I wanted to rapidly clear trees, which is a reason to chop right now, but. I don't really have a reason to do that. So short on it. Everything seems to be in good order. Pretty aggressively pursued these blades. So that I'll get the extra food during the drizzle season. Do I only have one fox? Yes. Takes four minutes, but maybe if I throw a fox in there, it'll go a little bit faster. Ten insects produced. I don't believe there's a lot of insects on this map. Extra guy. get some sea marrow so I can get this working a little faster. So this finishes in 348, this is in 346. I'm two seconds slow. Mm 
There's foxes in here. for sale. The steel is okay. Not great, but okay. Okay deal worth doing, I guess. Profit margin. This order gets me a supplier, which can let me build flour. Handy. They're not immediately useful. Current buildings I have that aren't useful are cellar and tavern. So Hilda, I wanted to get 24 of the plant-like stuff. We've got furniture, that's good. Get myself, I believe mushrooms was one that could work. For mushroom, uh, there's something that takes five tools. Always like picking up these things early game. be a better way to do this, but I call this good enough. Yes. This had 20 bucks in it. Let's just turn these in. Let's see, what do we got here? Rain mill, unnecessary. Tea doctor, treatment and brawling. Okay, let's start going for late game. Can I get a four day win? How wild would that be? Hmm. Four day win angle. Coats. Coats are good. Welcome, new people. How oh, do you have? Nope, you don't have marrow. 
Traitor's got a plus three coat buff. Oh. Okay. Good idea. Our uh, city here is the fashion capital. It's so annoying that I miss out on 30 food by being two seconds up. I should have began a little bit earlier in the night. Lesson learned, I guess. Ambitious enough to go for a four year win, but no, I am ambitious enough. Never mind. I'm a pretty ambitious guy. Okay, carpenter, need for religion fulfilled. I don't believe I got either of those. Luxury, lifestyle, luxury, leisure. Treatment, brawling. Mm, box. Discover two or pretty easy one. But I think this is a nice freebie. These are also freebies. Uh not as free. Let's double check real quick, make sure I've got two. There's one. There's two, there's three. That one's a little too scary up there this early. There's four, that one's a little scary. All right, so I'll work towards these two to the right. It's definitely a bit far away. So let me get this warehouse. Why don't I open as much small glades? They're usually so free. I think 15 hostility is a real cost. I'd say that's the opposite of free. I'd go as far as to say that costs stuff.
cute little decoration. hard to win in the four years. I'm like thinking about how I can possibly do it. I just don't think I can pull it off, but it should be a comfortable five year win. The main problem is I don't have the money right now from the trade wrath, which takes time. I decided to get this bad Zorg trade right out of the way. Um, I thought about like uh, actually getting a few of these goods ahead of time. I think that's worth it. I guess I don't need this many parts, certainly. So the biscuits are hard to get. I have a grill. I think I only need to carry like three at most here. Luxury good maker. Let's see if he has any of this stuff. Wine, incense, swords, scrolls, tea, beer. Nope. Ah, finally time to enter the uh, early game cellar. Buy the resources off of you, I guess. We will need 49 of these. And... We need grapes. Now, how do I get the money for this? That's the tricky part. You're not going to be able to get the money. Hmm. 
Odds and ends, very good. <laughs> I'm definitely keeping a lot more, uh, of an incredibly focused town the more and more I play. It's like, yeah, I need exactly this stuff. To get in that day five when year five. wood okay yeah chop chop let's go belt trees 50% faster have a hundred percent chance of destroying their yield that's fun Oh no, I forgot you could make wine out of reeds. Bucks. Extra guy. Also more foxes, I guess. Forge sales. It's good value. Is this better value? No. Now that's some value that will take too long. Grill can produce my oil, ale, rather.
Familiar for water skins. I think I'm pretty much just setting up as hard as I can go on four, so that five will be an alley oop slam dunk. Because I'm hit with the basketball terminology, yeah? Carpenter, I already have one. Good salvage material. Uh, this. Cleanse is pretty good. Gets me one. the lower deck. Hello, hello, hello. That'll increase hostility by 330. That's two reputation in the bank. So hard to win in four years. You just don't have the guys. Believe me, I'm uh, trying. Lumber mill. Doctor, plus one resolve for every 200 times complex food need is fulfilled. The weaver can make training gear. I have a tea house. Let's make tea.
Yeah, we are out of stuff. The grill. <laughs> oh, I sold all of these. Um, I need... I just need to chill. sales. It's my main export. And we're out of provisions. Alright, my goal is just pretty much to make the uh, year six as easy a, or year five, as easy a pushover as possible. Hard to have done it without having these two. Alright, so we discover two dangerous for Forbidden Glades within 210. Oh, did I forget to do that? I totally forgot to do that. Oh, I had set up to do that. Hmm. Maybe easier to do right now. Yep. Right. Complete five trade routes worth at least 15, 12 amber. Or pack, pack, pack. Pack, pack, pack's actually pretty hard. 12 amber. Find some way to spend storm water. Also, find some way to get storm water. Pipes. Oh man, it's actually going to be hard to get through pipes. I didn't the didn't do the usual get myself two extra pipes. Oh, am I going to get punished? Should be fine. Oh, I don't have the gears for this. What 
should also still be fun. And I've got a lot of paths, so... Hard for this to go wrong. Managed to make eight packs of luxury goods. It's good. Man, I really, uh, I really tried pretty hard to win on four, and I kind of crashed my economy because of it, like, lightly crashed. So, I ended up, like, spending down a lot earlier than probably than I should have, which is going to cause a little bit of awkwardness at the end. So many resources, I just have zero of. is a ton of money. So I'll be spamming the trader button. I believe that's how I get whatever I had that was stormwater to get working. No, I had one of them. It's the clothier. Hmm. Carpento. Carpento. Need to actually not spend this. <laughs> Doing it wrong. Hmm. 
Why do you have only such a basic stuff? I don't want basic stuff, I want the cool stuff. now, but... I don't think I can get my five trade routes up by the end. Shadani, you were so bad. Bad trader, bad. So one point there, which means I have four to go. The humans are getting me one more. So three to go. get the luxuries up, which will hopefully get both of those up. <laughs> the guild house, luxuriously built over the farmland. Uh, can I get my luxury goods up? I should be able to. Definitely amusingly going to be the highest number of these buildings I build. Wait, did I just I don't quite know what happened there, but Disappoint me, traitor. Yeah. 
I get my two points with a mixture of storm water, pack of luxury good, and the other thing. It'll work out just fine. Uh, maybe I get a box somewhere. Box, box. I'm get a small box here. Medium box. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Box is hiding there. Definitely a very aggressive uh, resolve schedule. Got what? One, two, three of the fancy buildings? Is it four? I have four, but I haven't built the explorer's lodge. This gives me another two. Simple five win there. I think I can start getting supply packages, so I'll uh, start boarding these. Make sure I haven't. Oh, I should not have clicked that so fast. Okay, it's fine. Gain twice the hostility every year. Man, that, that seems like a very scary one. I was considering doing a pit stop over this way and then swinging left, but I think I can just go left. I go here, one, two, three, or one, two, three are both spots I can go to. Uh, what do we got here? Each year the storm lasts plus 10% longer. And finally, I have to make my way into the place of at least prestige five. So we'll do a nice little prestige six to get the extra seal fragment. Grab extra cornerstone option over blueprint reroll. Yep. All right. Time to take off the Viceroy easy mode. Uh, I did put in the input for the devs, by the way. Of hey, this is Queen's diff Queen's hand difficulty. I don't think we should be allowed to do Viceroy mode. Uh, so you know, you let them know how you know Trump managed to cheese with lots of Viceroy victories. And you're like, we wanted Trump to do prestige, right? It's all in the name of competition. You gotta do the thing that wins. One, two, three. But finally, we're being forced into going to Prestige, but I feel like you should be forced into Prestige 1 over here, and like a little bit, like, you start going to higher Prestiges in these rings. Uh, what do we got here? A Marshlands. Alright, gotta, gotta, gotta be a little bit careful here. Storm lasts longer, and it's the Marshlands. Which is, um, I've had a string of games where I haven't had to worry about the 
the wood. And this is one where I have to worry about the wood. Set the prestige six so I can get an extra seal fragment. And let's roll. The storm lasting longer will make it more likely that I finish in uh, seven years. Oh, I never unlocked third caravan. You know, that doesn't really matter though, I think. Not that big a deal. I'm not too picky with my races. It got offered once, but didn't take it. Here we go. So now it gets difficult. It gets slightly difficult. I think I should be able to do Prestige 6, no problem, even with Storm Lasting plus 10%, which is not a big deal. Uh, so we got plants grow fast after the storm, but this is the map where there's no fertile territory. Not much fertile territory, but I have humans, so I can find where the territory is. And that's really good because of that bonus. So <laughs> the fertile land is over here. All right. Let's hunt it down. And I start with 12 guys, which is a lot of guys. Been a while since I've had harpies. Nine harpies, three humans. Alright, so I know for a fact that I'm going to be able to farm, and the farms will be good, so I should get small farm. Usually you don't get that on marshlands, but I fortunately know where the, where the good stuff is. Bakery bakes my grain. Can we make mushroom pie? We cannot, very sad. I should still take bakery nonetheless, because we got grain. But we don't have flour yet, but we will get flour. Probably. The other choices aren't great. Also, harpies love biscuits. And pie. Wow, this is like the double-double. Uh, and flour. Alright. Oh, that's a kiln though. Ooh. Lock in the flower, or do we get kiln? Dang, tough one. Lock in the flower, I say. Ah, eh, keep it open, I say. I might go for like the quadruple woodcutters camp. <laughs> I can't think of anything else useful to do right now. Let's go. Alright, so taking stock of what I got early. Start with 70 food, got my 5 bricks and 5 fabric, got a lot of uh, these wildfire essences, possibly too many wildfire essence. Plus 50% to amount of goods produced in the small farm. Holy small farm. Boost global resolve by 1 for every 3 levels of standing with other settlements and trade routes. That's really insane too. Left and right are both insane. See, three trade routes, five pack. Small farm. Yep. 
two Glade events, five pack, or trading post and give up 10 bucks. Guys do like biscuits. I do like guys. Oh, I'll keep this as an option. So, since this is the mushwood, and since uh, chopping down trees gives you mushrooms, it's likely that I'll get enough food just by my uh, quadruple woodcutter action. forest provides as I carve out this path <laughs> into the revealed location and I praise the human starting ability for telling me the exact path to go. <laughs> There's no way you would do this unless you were map hacking. Report me for map hacking. I remember that was a tough one where I was like choosing it over power of some sort. I think I was getting five materials? No, something worse than that. But at a time like this, I can appreciate the power. Interesting in the market. Nope. But I will get my trade set up because, and I might want to decide this soon. Boost global resolve by one for every three levels of standing with other settlements. Or plus 50% to amount of goods produced in this mill farm. Eh, I'm probably gonna choose left. The trade is so good. Oh, I don't have beavers. If I go if I get a beaver, I'll definitely go left, but I'm still gonna go left regardless. Heartbeat's all going on break. Thing. I like how <laughs> the game starts and everyone with a s oh, leather. Oh, that's actually a good deal. I hadn't realized I could sell something. Very good. Uh, this would be the time to pick up this, I guess. Every three levels of standing with other settlements. It took me a while to get good at the trade route game, but I feel like I'm uh, better than most at the trade route game. Because I'm the mayor of Value Town. Anyways, where was I? Everyone's like, yeah, we gotta chop southwest. Straight southwest. 
What a fun opening. Gotta make sure my harpies don't leave on the first night, though. Uh, storm lasts 10% longer, which means I could finish this in record time. Like, maybe I can get a six-year victory on Prestige here. Five-year victory? Potentially. Man, I could get a five-year victory. I can see it. We do have the storm lasting longer, and while I have these. Also, one of the things I can consider is I can actually get the Forsaken Altar. And I can sacrifice my food. Uh, I think it will actually build a Forsaken Altar in this game. Year one, we almost made it to the sacred grove. The place that was foretold in our vision. Whenever I go from Viceroy to Prestige, gotta watch out for the resolve dropping faster. I remember the one game I've done on Prestige so far. Accidentally lost a guy. Also, I don't begin with the 20 coal. Uh, which means that the wood is lasting a bit shorter. Which is why I am still tempted to take the kiln. When I look at how my fuel has been struggling and how I have not gone through the oil yet, I see myself needing to get this kiln, but it hurts to not get the flour for my bakery. Tough choice. One leather, one buck, or oh, four leather, one buck. No good. This steel, no good. Eh, steel's okay.
Do I want to lock in the source of fuel, or do I want to lock in the source of... Ah, I'll have so many ways to save wood in the future, I'm sure. Tough choice, tough choice. Dwarves are here. Sure. By the way, does anyone want to tell me some lore? If I don't choose the dwarves right here, can I get offered a fourth race? Like, is my third race not locked in until I choose? So maybe I could go... I've never really thought about it. Do I want to lock in dwarves, if that were the case? That's how it worked earlier. What that it would lock in your race. Anyways, I'll pick the dwarfs. Uh, probably useful on this map anyways, since I wanna since we're short on wood. Regardless of what the actual way that works, I'm pretty sure dwarves are good here. At this point, I can see that the uh, the fourth wood cutting is a little bit much. One gear, five bucks. Two gear, ten bucks. Hmm. This is Harpy's Landing. Eh, not quite good enough. I need to save them for when I actually get better gear trades. Long storm. Got nine idle guys. I should probably make sure I don't have nine idle guys. There's not really much I can do right now. That's not sure. We got a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Two Glade events, deliver five packs. So the packs are looking worse since I am... Uh, I could I could really use the guys. Uh, I make this decision. 
So this is the decision. Kiln or flour? Stamping mill. The only thing I'm getting for it is the flour. I think I'll go kiln. I'm feeling the fuel burn. I'm feeling it. First trader. Alright, so that's a brick. We want at least one brick here for sure. But you probably want to buy lots of bricks. Herbalist camp. Um, there are definitely lots of mushrooms on this map. I don't have them right now. Soldiers move faster is really good. So, so far, I want one brick. And... What am I willing to trade for a brick? Eh, pay one buck for a uh, two brick. I think I shouldn't get rid of the dollar, because I'm going to need all the $14 for that stuff. Uh, one brick. Food looks short, fuel is short. I'm not selling this. The leather then? Uh. That bypasses the need to scramble for the stone. That's good. A shady character appears in the settlement. You can choose one blueprint from all unlocked blueprints. Glade event work speed increased by 30%. Resources you sacrifice burn quicker. Ooh, that's a tough choice. Left is really good. Right is, uh, Gets me what I want right now. And what would I want right now? I would want the best source of flour. So I could actually run all my stuff. Monday. Uh -huh. But we can just count on getting good stuff. And instead have Glade event work speed increased by 30%, which is big. If I can make a profit by buying eight berries. Let me check. You do not have berries somehow. How the dwarves came in and actually made my trade routes better. That's nice.
It's a good one. Doesn't cost resources, just minus six. My fragile harpies, though. I don't know if they can take it. They need another house. I don't eat my veggies. Now what else do I want to make sure I don't eat? My insects and meat. After that house, it's not going to be enough, is it? Wait, never finished, but it's still not going to be enough. It'll only be plus one. Hmm. It's actually a problem. How am I going to solve this? The answer is I have to build another small hearth this fast. So I'm at six. Oh, I could do juggling, I guess. Uh, juggling. Uh, hmm. Oh, I can also just have fewer woodcutters. Uh, be juggling plus woodcutters. Thirty percent blade speed increase. Nice. Everyone's a super fox now. Complete any two glade events and oh yeah, I'm going left. But discover five glades, yeah, that's too expensive. Harpy house need for jerky.
I don't think I can pack up my crops this fast. Actually, it's pretty challenging now. Certainly more challenging than the Viceroy walkovers. It just feels challenging because my first one was one of six. No, but this one was a fine blade event. So coal. Decent deal. One part for five bucks, my last part. Crystallized you. Now that's a good deal. Ooh. Myself more pack of provisions if I can. Thirty leather, twenty five flour, twenty skewers. I guess in the other game, I'm just uh, expanding my trade routes here. Expanding my trade routes has the added benefit that every three levels of standing with other settlements gain one global resolve. I'm gonna aim to make that number at least three by the end of the game. That means a total of nine levels of trade routes. have that extra plus 10 uh, storage in the buildings to make this lock not insane. But this is a case where I might want to get another farm placed here so that all of this can actually be harvested. Given that I have such farm synergy, I probably should have seen this coming and had this uh, second farm ready to go. A 
walk makes it so that some of this isn't getting harvested. And then, alas, no food for you. Get the extra guy. lasts like a little bit over four minutes I think with the uh, extra modifier here mother wholesale The leather sale. This one seems good. Oh, better leather sale? No, top is better. But maybe I take this one also. I don't have enough leather. flower for some reason. Okay, don't eat roots or berries. Garden takes eight planks, that's so many planks. Probably don't want to sell more coal. The mushrooms should have been a good one to sell, but I seem to have no mushrooms. And I almost have enough over there. Other the negatives, reputation, resolve, hunger, white rot.
Then on the next day start, I'll turn in the quest, get a blueprint. Got the leather coming in. Let's me sell this. imagine myself ever building wait I don't even I do have harpy has huh build is that eight harpy houses that's insane 24 harpy popu 16 harpy population yeah I can see it that's so expensive I'm actually going yeah let's harpy relatives okay okay Ten trade routes, we'll do it. Uh, Blight Rot actually spawns. Three loyalty. Alright, remind myself to uh, pick the Blight Rot. During the year three thing. Traders will have a, uh, received 10 amber for every 5 completed trade routes. Seems okay. Basically, imagine every single trade route plus 2. Eh. Good enough. Don't feel like I'm re rolling that one. One tool. Sure. This uh, building material is pretty good if I can get three. Uh, I think I can get three pack. I think they build three pack at a time. Two pack at a time. Oh, that's too expensive. Unless. Okay, you can use your bricks to build packs. Puffed grain. Herb production. Oh, gaining insects for every two mushrooms produced. This is the mushroom world. Take that. Biscuits can be produced in the kiln. That is surprisingly useful. Wait, no, it's not. Hello. Okay, so I definitely want to buy the raw resources. It's raw. And we'll give the people a treat. My purchase comes with two pies. Dollar, uh, this greenhouse actually works pretty well with my setup. It means I need to save nine bucks. One, two, three, four, five. So we don't need two pie, and Alright. 
the greenhouse will let me get... Oh, didn't I have some synergy? Gain one insect for every two mushrooms produced. It's such a cheap blueprint. But it lets me capture the bottom right side of this field and then not have to have this small farm here. Now you're thinking with portals. Emergency order for fabric. got the drizzle one. Okay, all food production is slower. Okay, burn it down. Six minute biscuit. I guess you can do something more productive. One minute eggs. Huh, chopping trees can give mushrooms. It does not take longer. What loop are you using this run, Trump? I'm not entirely sure what you mean by that. Like the settlement number? It's like settlement number 9-ish? Had to restart once, if that's what you're asking also.
wonder how many things can fit in the greenhouse and whether or not I should build a warehouse near this. I probably should since there's a stonecutter's camp here too. Additional blight rost cysts appeared. Oh, yes. Store 15, produce 4 per 4, 8, 12. humans. See two here. Oh, two there. Continue to need fabric. how these guys decided that the road up here is more important to build than the blight post. But they're just following default orders. Can't blame them. Mushrooms for now on little stabilizing food. Oh, the parts. Um, ba -bum. Farm life, that gets me two guys and plus one on grain. Great. That workshop is surprisingly good. It bumps all of my production. Great workshop. But I think I can use it here. Oh, there's a flower building though. Have to take the flower building.
also provisioners. Been uh, making a lot of these packs. Okay, I can sell out of the barrel. Herbs. I think I need those herbs right now. Barrels, sure. shopping to next. Am I evening opening a glade on the next year? Probably. Never ended up building a warehouse down there. I could have sworn I did build a warehouse somewhere. No? Hmm. Oh, there's Brimmer down here. Oh no, I never- what the? Well, fortunately, the, uh, the blight rod isn't too terrible here. Oh yes, uh, the small trades are better than they look. If there's anything that's like a, eh, I should take it. Everything's plus two. Like, Harpy, how are you unhappy? Look at that delicious jerky. Yum yum. Yum yum. Yum yum. Yum yum. Okay, nine idle people. What can I do with you guys? Any mines? Oh, yes. Need so many planks. Good thing I gotta to kill him. Otherwise, I would have definitely run out of fuel. Still trying to get this provision around.
even take stock of my inventory. This map is tough. Maybe the mushroom map is uh, in particular the tough one. Also, I'm trying getting free insects. Where's my insects? Progress one out of two, gained 24. Oh, yes. Alright, so 24 insects so far. Yeah. That was called having three guys employed in there. Not finding employment for the people is a death sentence. Alright, I gotta find some parts. This camp. Trading post getting done will get me parts. Mine doesn't need a warehouse next to it because it produces very condensed units. It can high value units. Oh no, I forgot to get the burn right. Oh, jeez. Eh, minus three. Minus five. Oh, that might make this impossible. Loyalty? Hmm. Ugh. Get one blueprint. Newly discovered nodes. Meh. Gain 20 coal for every three burned blight rocks. Do I want the wild blueprint? What blueprint would make me super happy right now? Do I want the lumber mill this late? It's, it's year four. Do I want to say, hey, hey, can you come? Oh, what's this? I would do better if I had that 222 building. the ale. Eventually we'll want ale and the luxury. Eventually. Oh, how about this? Getting the luxury building is better than getting the luxury maker because you can always buy the luxury.
luxury and treatment. So that's the high one on those two. Eh, I'll take it, I guess. Those require a lot of resources. Let's see. Upgrade this trade route. Um, right, so the big decision, do I want to get a wild blueprint? And I think the answer is yes. A mysterious smuggler has appeared in your settlement and his cart hidden beneath barrels of whiskey. You see a suspiciously rich selection of blueprints. Oh, wild. There are a ton of eggs on this map. That is so many eggs. So option one is eggs. Option two is I get the, uh, like I was thinking, uh, 222 guy. I can't even make 222 because I lack the... Wait, do you have plant fiber? Yes. Is this a plus one mushroom? Interesting. Uh, anyways. Industry. So, workshop. Boosts all three of these. I feel like it's what I really want. Yep, I want it. I want it so bad. I need all three of these things. Alright. Oh, what a waste of a pick. Not a waste, that's what you want. It's the dream pick. I got it. It just feels wrong to pick it up on year four. Because you've already spent so much. It feels really wrong. I'm just getting spoiled from finishing the game so early all these times. ritual. But we don't have the resources for that. So we're gonna have to burn it down.
<laughs> Leaving me with one wood as fuel. That's fine. Plenty of time. We got a 4x manned mine. That should be fine. This increased uh, building cost hurts more than I thought. I'd say that's the main thing slowing me down. So I have to get this silly workshop. Kind of want to hook up storm water to it. I mean, I'm gonna build eight heart houses, so that's uh, part of the reason why I need all this stuff here. Oh man, how do I not have enough wood? Well, it shouldn't be too surprising. Wood light map. Oh, it's just a mushroom map is hard. I think that's my conclusion. Mushroom map is hard. When I think about the camp thing, I already had eggs without needing to go big camp, so I guess not too big a deal. Someone build this provisioner, please. I want a rain engine this thing. So many people unemployed. Ah. I 
I even have the mine. My resources are all so low, other than food. Alright, well, food and fuel are covered, so I'm gonna actually do good stuff. I can finally build this provision around for And then when I build the provisioner, I can finally make these, I can finally make those. my green been getting eaten into? Nothing yet. Okay, time to go all green. I think I've just been trading it away. Reminds me that I need to build some pack pack of crops. To complete the first quest. To get four guys. Man, that's part of the reason why the other ones have been easier. I like immediately start off with multiple guys. Here I still have like three people unemployed. down to one unemployment. And it wasn't easy. And once the storm comes, the woodcutters are gonna wanna be changing jobs. I might actually go as far as to destroy a woodcutter. Just to salvage the, uh, the gears right now. Is that enough to build this? Yes. How is workshop not how is workshop idling? No, you don't get to idle workshop. Wow, we're so poor. Please. What's wrong with you? You're eating jerky and pie. What is wrong with you? You don't know how good you have it, Harpy. You have no idea. Maybe that's why my last settlements have gone better too. 
Never get a harpy. But this time, harpy. And the line. Oh, all species resolve drops faster. I'm just gonna have to accept that I'll lose a harpy. But not a dwarf! Harpy, look at what you did! How do I have so little feel? How does this make any sense? I'm producing coal and I have a mine. None of this makes any sense. I blame the mushroom now. No trick. Bye, Harpy. <laughs> Harpy Scout. Trade routes were 17.
Final trick. Alright, we made it through that storm. Holy cow. Newcomers are almost here. Your villagers, all trade routes are faster by 40%. Gain amber for 50. Now oh, it's time for a reroll. Making pie gets me jerky. Ooh. All right, this is now pie world. That is very rarely good, but this is one of those times. Yeah, not too rare that it's good. Good here. Do I want anything? The tools. Do I have any glade to unlock? Or was I too panicked to do anything? I think this year I take it easy. I'm not anywhere near opening a glade. Gonna take it easy. It's just so awkward chopped anywhere. Because I need the wood, so it needs to be close by my town. This is my only warehouse. Hmm. Oh, that's a good trade. And this gets rid of my random crops. Oh yeah, I don't have enough fabric. Good call. Could actually use the parts, but we're too poor. Is this what it feels like to live in poverty? it. I am wallowing in poverty. 
Why are my people so inefficient? Where's my riches? Oh, that also reminds me. Oh. I can't build this thing that'll get me unimaginable powers. Do you have bricks? Nope. Oh, I got 22 bucks. So I have a market in the... Well, I could actually... Yeah, okay. This just costs so little. Like, why don't I just buy this? Market. Give my guys standing around what I'm gonna do. Could actually help. Oh, I hadn't noticed that this greenhouse lady has to bring the 11... It's probably worth having a small warehouse over here. Glad that you chose the workshop since you buy all the materials. Look, the workshop is so good that I still need to buy materials despite having the workshop. Look, look. Yeah. Uh -huh. Holy cow, I actually have one. Holy cow, I actually have pickled goods. Holy cow, this girl is carrying 21 mushrooms. <laughs> Let's see, tavern gets me access to luxury, which is not that big a deal. I go artisan. Because everyone wants clothes here. My first harpy houses. Finally happened. Zero out of eight harpy house. I got full employment, finally. 
Stag's Refuge, get this up a level. <laughs> so far I'm only at one resolve from this. That insane thing that I took at the beginning. The thing I proclaimed as insane. Are we making pie yet? Gained 40. Top 10 tips. Oh. Yo! Go! Beautiful, full employment. <laughs> Hasn't happened for too long. This warehouse will let me chop towards this forbidden glade more, as well as that should have been there for a very long time, but I never had the gears for it. Copper ore, so I can sell that for the plus six. So that, that gets the next level of trade. Oh no, the mine. Ah, it ran out. My, empl my employment. It's actually really bad. It's probably critically supporting, supplying stuff. How do I not have 30 copper ore? Why is it 29? <sighs> Mud skip, three plus four. Okay.
so cramped. Zero fabric? How's that even possible? I bought all that fabric. Curse you, Harpy Houses. Why do you cost so much? Harpy house. It's not. It's eight harpy houses, not eight harpies housed. Ah. Oh. You silly harpies. So ridiculous. support them right now. Grab them when this long storm passes. How do I not have enough room for a holy cow? This is, this is a cursed setup. Cursed, I tell you, cursed. Finally up to two resolve. It did say at the end, I'd like to have three. I guess we will do that. Mm. Storm season, one blight rots this here in the settlement. Wow, do I want that to happen? I think that's good for me to have blight rots this. Go faster! Faster! There we go. 
I just toggle this on and off? That's not a thing, is it? Alright, what do we got here? Plus one global resolve, plus 10% villager speed. Late event work speed increases by 30. That's pretty good. Zorg. Hey, fabric. Traders will arrive quicker. Hmm. Probably not worth. I think they tend to come at the beginning of the day because the storm cycle takes too long. So long. 15% quicker. I'll do some calculations. Uh, I can't do calculations. Big money trade. It's one out of five. Okay, things look nice and stable now, actually. Holy Fishman Lighthouse. I have none of this. Lens gain one impatience point. Get this. Burn it down. Oh, Plank Zelda, why'd you leave me? Or whoever you were. You actually had planks for sale, didn't you? How do I need even more planks? What was it, 45 planks? Peace and reward, though. You have a forager's camp. This lets me grab a green roots and vegetables. There are some out there. Dusty. Dusty. Oh, 
Aha! Okay, so five of these things, huh? Don't have the stuff to feed the ranch. Skewers or clothier. I have a clothes builder, so it's gonna be the grill. Or I can use my jerky. And then I don't have the second thing, but that's a problem for me. Definitely should stop building jerky here. Every hearth in the settlement. Hmm. I used to have the perfect setup for this. I can't believe I did build a harpy house, the quest. I cannot believe it. for the trade. It's so difficult. Visioner artisan. We need to start. We need to start making some barrels. Visioner artisan. Suck. Just take the thing that makes pie better, right? 
We are the Pieville, yes. That means this can focus on building biscuits. What happens? Permanent. This guy earlier. Good ol' regret. <laughs> Plus three pie production. Yum. Explorer's Lodge. Nice. And what was it I really wanted? Yes, planks. How am I at zero plank? How is that even possible? Alright, oh, this guy's got the goods. A shame I have not enough money for everything. This guy came to trade. Definitely have to buy this. Uh, plus three to pie production. It's probably just gross overkill. No. Silly. What I'm curious on is... What is it that has eaten my flanks? Man, that's pretty nice though, having the guys bring 19 and 21 points. Excuse me, did you bring more planks, sir?
Cortar. Ah, oh, pipes. Give me pipes. What else? I need a... This workshop should have been connected with pipes. And then I need a... Uh... I need a middle storm pipe, too. This one. Right. Yeah, this one. Oh, high level of corruption. Speaking of, I think I'd already pre built some purging fire. Okay, I think I'm on track for a turn for a year seven win. And it was a fun challenging one. But it looks like things are stable. The opening of this storm will suck a little bit, but I just have to hold off for minute 30. Dead Leviathan. A giant dead beast. Require the camp with two stars or better. Alas. This is burned down. It's minus three hundred. I might just, you know, take a hit. It's fine. Not everyone has to survive. It's not a requirement. It's interesting, but I never built the Forsaken Altar just because it costs too much. Face tank in this.
bad timing on the forbidden glid. All these things you gotta sharpen from Vice Red Prestige 5. And then sharpen more Prestige 10. Uh, I guess I really gotta not let down my guard on the next one. If I go further into the ring. Even if I don't. Go further into the ring. House. Beaver died. Ancient hearth corruption. Oh yes, of course. We're so scared, aren't we? We're almost dead. Oh no. So spooky. I got that fifth blade in my pocket. No problem. There's a trade worth over 17. My bricks! Alright, worth too much to turn that. Now, is there another glade I can open? That isn't a small one. That's nearby here. Hmm. You're not chopping off my head. No queen. Wait, actually, I should panic a little bit. Just a little bit. Can't call a merchant. I'm slightly concerned. Mildly. I fell for the classic... Opening the Forbidden Glade too slowly. Oh man, there's even enough Blight Rot. I didn't know I was going to get this much player up. Ha <laughs> ha! Divine shield! That's right, I am invincible! Wait, why are you guys leaving? Oh. Okay, burn blight rot sis complete. 
Haha, <laughs> invincible. Contain four ancient tablets. Wood cutting speed will increase. Gain skewers for every pickled goods produced. I'm not a big pickled goods producer. Where is my pickled goods building? Yeah, that's probably not too good. I guess I'll just take ancient tablets and some money. And I'll click this before I forget. From the brink! Not even close. Herbalist camp? Question mark? Oh man, the trapper camp would be so cool. Not that I need food at all. Why are these buildings so bad? Oil can probably be used for something else, at least. Oh, I actually need fuel. I think I was looking for a yellow building to buff as well. This would be it. Shelter, park, park. This workshop, work harder. Contaminated food. That's gonna be so much food contaminated. Fix? Good thing we have a ton of food, I guess. Okay, so we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. If I imagine I'll get both of those, then I need seven. That's three and that's four of this thing. I have exactly 64 biscuit. 
Oh, my poor biscuit supply. for the human. Where's my cool buildings? Mm, very disappointing. I'm gonna buy this just for a porridge. Thousand now wiped on the seal. Oh, that's brutal. Also, I was intending to keep this for the uh, lock, but I wanted the the extra. All right, well that's that locked in at least. It'll take six minutes. I won't die in six minutes, will I? Let me switch this over to a human. Yeah. 0.18 per minute. So 1.8 in... Oh, okay. Almost 25% clearance, nice. Alright, grab a bunch of containers. I got a market. That's cool. Could use these bricks. Oh, hi, I have 624 jerky. I should sell it because some merchants don't accept payment in jerky. I guess Sother also accepts payment in pie, so we should take that. Alright, good trade, good trade. Why did this stain for the auto button? Uh, I. I like to roleplay, I'm haggling because I like Russeteer, okay?
Definitely gotta prepare for the future difficulties, because uh, Sother ain't gonna be that ain't gonna be there for me all the time, and he gets nerfed. But at least for this one, Sother is my man. Well, I'll be able to finish on year seven. We got a long three minute forty window. High level of corruption. I guess the beavers don't matter that much because they're, uh, oh, can we actually get, oh, there we go, finally a tavern. I was like, can we get a tavern in here? But actually the better one is, well, something with education. Not that I have any scrolls. Missing Wow, okay. Learned how good the workshop or something that produces stuff is. I'm out of wood, huh? Where's that built in the press? Raw food, basic resources, building materials. Yeah. If only you were a good merchant, you might have won here. Still might win though. At this one, I've got the small crate. Did I already open it? I think I've come to the conclusion that the mushroom map is definitely the hardest one.
This decision doesn't even matter, but I can't help but want to trade. Oranger in thirteen per cent max. Just gotta not click this button, I'm sure to win. The get out of jail free card. surprising how little, how few things my guys can do on this map. I'm like, wow, I got 11 idle guys and nothing I can do with them. Not that it matters, I won, but man, if I can avoid the mushroom maps, I'm gonna avoid them. This was a rough one. Despite how good it looks here at the end, it was rough. And I'm not entirely sure why. Which is bad, because I usually can tell why it was rough. Hmm. I think I got really unlucky with blueprints. I'm not sure though. When I really think about it, it was, it was fine. No wood! Well, yeah, but it's the map! I got the kiln, which was right. But if I didn't get the kiln, I might have lost. Okay, wait, I, I can't just auto-pass here. Still some small danger lurking around. Get to repeat the last year except with beer. Mm. I was aiming for six years and I got eight. But it almost feels good enough that I made it out alive. <laughs> Any game where you hit last stand on is a good game. You know, and then you don't lose. Correction. But every game where you lose is typically a good game, I'll say. Okay, 
so the thing that I'm missing is... Oh, that's the thing about the map, it doesn't have... The food. It has like a lot of one side of food. It's missing the other side. I have all the meat. But we're missing the veggie. Hi. The veggie. There's no, like, good map modifier, or whatever you call it. There's nothing that helps you here. just standing here the whole game. Very tragic. Very sad. Wait, no one even eats skewers on this team. Oh, I got that. Three people that don't eat skewers. Interesting. Or that they don't care about skewers. I'm not sure if I've picked the grill as an... I must have. Hopefully it was up against bad buildings. Another sub actually, let me see what's going on here. Only forbidden glades can be found in the region. That one's fine, right? Minimum difficulty prestige 10. I could have sworn I had another option here. I think the fact that there's nothing showing here means that's a exclamation mark? I could have sworn that there was a question mark here before. Interesting. Quick, 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 quick. Uh, but it looks like I'll be going to the Forbidden Glade only region. And that's a little bit spooky. Not even a little bit spooky, it's quite spooky. I'm spooked. That's a possible game ender. Game run ender. It could be a chicken and just go here. We could also do the interesting pivot. Like, retreat! Retreat! Oh, I don't even get an upgrade here. Hurdle. Alright, it does mean that I will almost certainly aim to build a forbidden altar next game. Ah, good old Royal Woodlands at least. Royal Woodlands, never goes wrong. It can be game ending, I failed last week doing that one though. Oh yeah, forbidden glades are really scary. Hmm. Maybe I should get plus two here. No. I can do this, right? Wait, are you serious? You failed last week doing this one. Maybe if I just play very carefully. Forbidden Glades only is hard. The first one you open can just kill you. Well, I certainly know how scary Forbidden Glades can be. I don't have to do it. 
Like, we have the luxury of time, right? 38 years. Uh, and I just finished my longest camp. Though the, the next one should be longer because it's higher difficulty. Uh, that took eight, so if I go like nine, 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 it's uh, 27, and then. So I'm always getting four at the least, but probably five. Nine, 18, 27, 36, five. So one, you know, two, three, four. I'm there in four. What was the math here? And you're obligated to do Prestige 11. Or are you? <laughs> Ooh, goods worth less than traders. For the extra 7. So, 7, 7, 7, 7, 28. I'll make it to 108. But I'm not always getting sevens. So, you know, this might be a really fishy move, but maybe I go prestige ten, so blight rot does not have a stronger impact. The plans, because we don't need the extra seal. One, two, three. Let me let me think about that. I never considered Prestige 10 a valid option on this map, uh, but if I take 6 and then in the worst case I get another 7 here, that's 13. I go in here, it's always at least, let's see, that's the 15 ring. Fifteen ring, you get 7. So 6, 7, 7, uh, it's 13. 20, it's 100, 6, 7, 7, 13, 20, 100. Wait, I'm actually at the worst number to chicken out, because 7, 7, 7 plus 4 gets me there, and all of these are plus 4. 5. Oh, wait, I'm not. 6, 6, 6, 6, 7, 7 is fine. Uh, 14, 20, that's 100, and then 105. I wonder if I, like, yeah, I might... Now the interesting thing is I can also use some supply package. It's not like I have to save it all at the end. Now the the spooky thing, by the way, is I have the the strongest seal I've done is a bronze seal, and it was at like prestige. It wasn't at prestige twenty, uh, but you know I. I know the theory behind it, at least. Anyways. Yeah, Blight Rot's scarier, whatever. It's, I'll take the extra seal. It might come in uh, into play if we ever have tiebreakers. Zaz wiped. He went into seal with zero reserve and zero base. How oh, interesting. What a brave man. Did he just rush straight for it? It was like many years to go? How did that ever happen? It's interesting. I wouldn't open Forbidden first year or two. Oh, a lot of time, I see. You have planks as a choice. Yeah, uh, it's it costs three. I'm so I'm. Oh. It will make the game a lot easier. No, I mean, um, oh. Oh, need reserve points going in last, honestly. You have planks as choice. Yeah, yeah, if I go in the final one with these, I'll feel much better about winning. But this thing, this here, like, it's... 
the scary. It's scary. You know, I should do a little bit of mess. I'm thinking, let's, let's do it a little bit of planning. Let's do a little bit of planning. Save your eight points. So I need 25 seal fragments to make it to the end here. Uh, and that's just going to be seven, 25. So that means I'm going to do seven plus five, seven plus five. That's 24. Wait a second. 104? How many years left? We have 38. Uh, I have a ludicrous amount of time. But I'm not entirely confident on my ability to win on a Prestige 15 with zero embarkation points. If you'll notice, uh, this has been the coward's path. Uh, this has been Viceroy, Viceroy, like Prestige 6, Viceroy, 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 Prestige 6. The Queen is like, oh, you're a clever one, aren't you, little man? Anyways, I could definitely... Okay, uh, what was I doing? Um, right, this is also the Royal Woodlands. Royal Woodlands, I don't know why I'm scared. Like, It's because it, it's the hardcore element. It gets your heart pumping. The point is, if I do... Well, okay, the first thing is... If I want to set myself for the best chance of success on the last one, um, I'd probably want to bring like the farm... And then all of these, and then this, and then like extra food. So how much would that cost? It would cost negative 13. So if I wanted the best chance of winning on the last one, I'd need to gather up quite a lot more of these, like 4 plus 4 plus 4. I don't have to have all of it. Um, so basically, I'd want to do three of them, and then get like plus 4 on each one. By the way, how hard is the seal anyways? Like, is it as is it comparable to a normal map, or is it harder than a normal map? I haven't even done, uh, I haven't done them very often. I did it once. It's easier now. Like when I think about it, um, when did you last do bronze? I I tried it out last week. They patched a week or two ago. Yeah, I heard the uh, choices used to be harder. It's the same. Yeah, it, as long as you go in knowing that you need to do a bunch of trade routes, I think it's uh, it's not that bad. Anyways, uh, my only question here is, should I? Oh, it's too precious. The points are too precious for the last one. I have to hoard my points. But the question, but the interesting thing is, like, uh, okay, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me talk this out. Th this could be the hardest one I hit on the way. So, it it's worth talking at. If I do four of them, then I can always pick plus four embarkation points. Because 4 is 28, which gets me to 105 easily. So I never have to actually pick plus 5. So if I'm getting plus 16, and if I really want to, one, two, I could like just burst to the finish without doing as many maps. But I think that's silly. Uh, so if I'm getting plus 16, it means I'm going to have 24 of these. And I don't need 24 points. So I think I can afford to take something along with me here. I think I'm just taking a, I'm gonna take planks, yeah. Make it a little bit easier on myself. 
Because this wagon looks pretty terrible. That's a bad wagon. That's, yeah, very low food. Maybe I better take some food while I'm at it. Oh, all the big food. Randomized too, unlucky. All right. Oh, I feel like such a chicken if I take this. It, it makes sense, right? I only need... I'm getting 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 8, 12, 16 of 24 points. And the most I could realistically ever need... Like, I rolled high on a lot of these. Is 13. That means I can spend 11 in the middle. And 4 on Forbidden Gloids only. Yeah, that's gotta be right. Alright, alright. Especially if the uh, initial wagon doesn't even have food. And foxes don't like starving. Alright, alright. We're chickens. We're chickening out. Spending our hard earned points. They might not be events, they modifiers. They could be bad events. Okay, I mean, that's still... we're way over. Wait, now you're... oh, you're right. Hold on, wait, wait. <laughs> One more time, being the math. Wait, are you trying to get me to fail? No, you've already won. Okay, so, I need up to 13 points. I'm doing... plus 4, plus 4, plus 4, if I assume, like, one of them is a bad event. Well, that means I can bring zero. Okay, we're going to just spend one point. Yeah, alright, alright. Yeah, the question marks could be exclamation marks. I, I agree. I haven't thought about that. Uh, let's just bring some eggs because I need food. Because if you're on the Forbidden Glades, it takes a little bit longer to open the stuff. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good luck me. So without further ado... Eggs. I would take food for forbidden. Wait, do you want to bring another one? Wait, you just said don't spend the points! And here I am bringing the eggs and you're like, oh yeah, yeah, bring, bring food. Just in general. Well, yeah, that's not very helpful. This is not general. If I had points, you got zero base. Yeah, I don't have any base, but I think it's worth spending a point here. And then the question is, is it worth spending two points? Egg is fun. Okay, okay. We good, we good. Oof, scared. Alright, as long- uh, but, I'm gonna approach this with great respect. Drizzle. Uh, villagers move faster, nice. Oh, harpies! Oh no. Only Forbidden Glades. Gathering speed decreased. Lose water. Burning cysts take longer. Oh, well, that's scary. It's not scary until... <laughs> it is scary. Okay, I gotta actually be careful. Oh, and I need to remind myself of what the uh, stuff was. <clears throat> Let's see... Eat more sometimes, consume more, scouts are slower, so I gotta make sure that... Wow, that's a brutal one to add in at Forbidden Glades when I'm not used to it. And then of course the goods cost less, cyst generation rate is increased by 100%, hearth corrupts quicker than normal, 
All effects that spawn blight rot now add twice as many assists. Okay, all the glids are forbidden. We begin with two mushrooms. I have ten guys. Sup, dog. Yeah, I think that's a sup. Oh, lumber mill. Oh no, I already got the planks. And it's like, oh, a carpenter. But I already got the planks. Now we definitely want porridge, I guess. Yeah, a bunch of stuff that can go into porridge here. And then I could have greenhouse for trapper scout. Yeah. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. So no need to start off with a turbo chop on this one because uh, we're gonna have Plenty of time before opening a glid. When do you usually open a forbidden glid? Uh, is it the beginning of day two or beginning of day three? Or maybe end of day two? Year three or four lull. Interesting. No, I think that's uh that's the words of a wise man. I mean the question is how do you generate value until then then? I know so I'm talking to Ron Empire here. I think uh he has a slower game plan. Uh usually wins in longer years than me. Which is not wrong, of course. But it will certainly be better in this one. <laughs> you do it for the content to win slowly. Oh, please. As if. Forage production increases by plus one for every 150 units of drizzle water produced. I did kill the porridge building. Alright, guess so. Fifteen Fox Resolve. I <laughs> discover five blade. Oh goodness. Hmm, so I'm gonna be playing solitaire. Seven pack might be decent. Hmm, seven pack.
and 15 harpy resolve or this thing i'll go right don't underestimate parts as rewards uh, sure whatever no you're right you're right been feeling the part crunch So we start with the more efficient flank building. Something I should have done at the beginning is to make sure my porridge materials don't get eaten. Uh, what was it that makes porridge? I think it already got eaten, alas. Oh, mushrooms, probably. No mushroom for you. See, it would have been a very big advantage to start off with 10 flanks. Since a lot of the uh, year one was spent gathering 10 flanks, so I could build more flanks. We have a nice little X city, though, at least. X marks the spot of victory.
I need to produce one brick. Nice calm here, one. Building up. Status report. I got a supplier up. I might get a tea house up in time. The tea house combos with rain collector. I need five gear. Out of gears. And this doesn't make four, does it? It only makes three. Well, I need to collect a rain. And how am I gonna do it? I guess we don't need this stone cutters camp. No, we don't need this small herbalist camp. No, I do need that. I actually don't need this. thought I would uh, destroy a building to build a rain collector. Freeze the rain. We gotta stretch this food out. Holy cow, I'm already... Already basically starving. Get the tea house up. That. Let's see. Check the math. I'll get um, 18, that's fine. Picked up uh, mushrooms from the source. Cool. How do I have no mushroom?
low on food. Panic. Exploration expedition is ridiculous. Market ship plan. More trade routes. New trader will arrive until you complete five. Pretty interesting. Need for brawling. Reroll. A little surprised. It took me so long to get everything set up. Also, why are we not brewing this yet? Holy cow. If I didn't bring the eggs, I was gonna die. Run! You sabotaged me. I should have brought more. Oh, wait, this guy. Oh my god, this guy does not food. Not that I can afford anything. Uh, Alright, think about it for a sec. Do I need anything here? Uh, planks, bricks... Weaver. I usually buy some stuff here. Definitely don't have any way to get pack of provisions. So I guess this isn't really important right now. About to get 10 forge at least. flower need for clothing I did disable the mushroom yes yes <sighs> I can always build greenhouse is almost always gonna be the pick here unless I open a glade and find massive meat let's see fox's resolve gets me 30 mushroom This, uh, this merchant costing more money is definitely harder for the game. Uh, I feel like I should sell some wood regardless, though. So basically, I can turn wood into bricks at, what is it, 10, 15 to 1. Is that a good deal? 15 to 1, usually, uh, if the planks are worth like half as much as a brick, then that would mean uh, 8, 15 to 1. So usually you get 8 to 2, so 15 to 1, you would usually get 4, you'd usually get 2. Honestly, 15 to 1 is still okay. Especially since I don't have enough to get this right now. I'm stuck out of bricks, so this is my one chance to lit up on bricks. I feel like I should take it. And this is it's definitely better, more economical to buy bricks than clay, right? Because, yeah. Six to two, right. All right, so. The question is, how many bricks do I want to pick up while I'm here? Looking ahead, I'll want like three bricks for a greenhouse. So I definitely want at least two bricks here. 
probably exactly two because I can't. Oh, I can't see what else I would be spending bricks on. So two bricks. Definitely being a lot more careful. I think this scenario requires great care, as I have three food, and I've eaten through my uh, extra batches of supply. And this is definitely the place that gets piped. I don't think I can allow these guys to starve. So I've got to let them eat mushroom for a little bit. Oh, do I want to? Nah, I'll let the second one. Oh man, die. Nah. I don't think I can just pick greenhouse. I don't have the resources for it. Also, why haven't I been assigning these guys? Looks like I just got them or something. I did just get them. Needed boxes. Nobody. Seven box. So this needs lots of plank. Pretty porridge in the house. Yum yum yum. Quick, stop eating stop eating my delicious mushrooms. Out of gears. I only have one gear. I have four gears. Okay. So I could get another water if I wanted to. I can uh, easily get rid of one of these woodcutters. Fox on camp is a waste. I only have three harpy. I guess uh, this is the last mushroom, so I gotta make it last.
So scary not trading. I was thinking market shift plan, but that's definitely not right anymore. You think I rerolled this? Yeah, I should reroll this now. I should have rerolled at the beginning. The Mist Piercers! Holy cow! This is it! This is the Mist Piercer game! <laughs> you got lucky! Oh, please. That saves you! It sounds like you were setting me up for failure. Alright, well, very exciting. It's my first time ever playing Mist Piercers, but that's a really good map to pick it. Okay, definitely was not expecting to uh, not see the stuff. Oh! I don't know. Oh, wait. Hey. Okay, so I got. I'm gonna have to Google all of this stuff. Fishman Soothsayer. Ancient burial site. Noxious machinery. Noxious machinery. Infected drainage mall. Oh, that's the one we want, right? Destroyed rain punk foundry. Lightning catcher. Alright, let, uh, let me do some quick Google. <laughs> I was told the Fishman Soothsayer was pretty easy. Let's see, so this one... Wait, are you trolling me? I don't have that stuff. Holy cow, Ron is actually trying to get me killed. No fishman soothsayer is easy. Uh huh. Lightning crack. Well, let me see. Not trolling you. Oh, I have the 30 resin, don't I? Because this is this map. Oh, that's super easy. You, you didn't explain why. Unless that's why. Also, what in the world? There's like three rain punk drills and road sign and fences in here. What is going on in this place? Uh, it's got dewberry bush large. Uh, oh, I should choose something that the trapper is good to go to. We need meat. Meat. There's no meat on this map, I just realized. Oh wait, there it is. Alright, Noxious Machinery, eh? Hmm, that seems pretty hard. Oh, it doesn't tell you if it's got... Oh, it has fertile soil. Oh, this doesn't have fertile soil. Oh, the sadness. 
This is fertile soil. Lightning catcher. Wow, that's pretty tough. <laughs> oh, 45 flanks. I can do 45 flanks. Hostility increased by 600. I can't take that. Can I? Fox ignores it. What? Just favor Harpy. Are you trolling me? Oh, right. I have the... Yeah, yeah. Okay. I guess the information... Foxes ignore hostility of the forest. What? That's a good troll. Excellent troll. Lucelli. to build lots of planks. There's 45 plank. I have zero plank? Is this number correct? Why do I have zero plank? Planks get plus one. Very good. Also, praise to the ancient gods. <laughs> Let's get this thing up. I think I'm at it, right? Should be able to choose buildings. Oh, so I need fertile soil. Oh, but stormwater geyser. Hmm. I have to pick three. So basically, do I pick the greenhouse when I definitely don't have drizzle water? No, I can't possibly do that. It's ludicrous. But the uh, the trappers camp won't help because this is not trappers camp. So I guess I have to pick the form or the tavern. Hmm. Guess I'll go tavern. Mm, I get a little first pick service building. You hate to see it. Maybe just a greenhouse, anyways. It's 18 fertile soil. That's a lot of fertile soil, but how am I ever going to get enough drizzle? 
Especially, nah, yeah, I can't do that. Hey, there's Drizzle over here. Drizzle Water Geyser. Noxious Machinery. I need to look up how to beat Noxious Machinery. Man, a lot of Googling in this one because of Miss Me Mist Piercers. Is there only one way to do this? 12 Purging Fire plus that stuff. That's so much stuff. How am I supposed to ever get that much stuff? It's insane. Okay, if I'm working this out, harpies like grain, therefore ale is the right direction to go. Wait, that didn't help at all. hate this pick so much. Clearance water, I don't have that. Hook house, biscuits and skewers. I'll get stamping mill for the wait, I already have the so I guess it's cookhouse. Uh, okay. I'm ruined. Four picks don't get any concurrent. I'm crying. Okay, so you can actually build crystallized dew with the resin. That's interesting. I do have this stuff. And you have that stuff. So crystallized dew and wine. There's none of that on this map. Pottery. Pie, huh? I guess I'll go alchemist hut. Weird building. Never built this one before. I never get crystallized, do. I guess I don't have to actually pick this one yet. Oh, those brutal few picks. Brutal. Why is the game never easy? Always difficult.
Okay, if I grab four guys. Oh, planks. Wow. Eh? Hmm. Maybe I'll take three guys. Where are my planks going? Hello, planks? Haven't I been building these in a while? Or a while? Where are my planks going? Anyways, I take the left. Uh, it's 12, 3. Uh, it's plus 18 hostility, putting me at 98. Seems good. Box is still dipped on resolve. Unlucky. What if I get bad RNG in this house build and it only har houses harpies? I'm lucky. Oh man, Forsaken Altar! Exciting. I didn't think I'd get the chance to activate this mu uh, this building much during the run, but this could be a big game changer. Praise the Forsaken Gods! Unimaginable powers! Wait. 2.82?! Oh no! somehow That's 40 planks! the curse of knowing what's coming not and knowing that I don't have enough but I will have enough the blessing not a curse Access to build faster, opening caches, lowers hostility, gain villagers. Uh, woodcutters camp production faster. That's usually good, but boy, do I not need it here. Every time you open or send an abandoned cache to the citadel, hostility is lowered. That could be interesting because I got. that building, or I plan to get the building, I plan to get the alchemist hut, which gets me crystallized dew, 
which is used mainly for the tools. Or the other way, method of opening. I think this makes sense. Hostility is lowered by 15 points. And I guess I just have to look at how many caches there are here. There's two. You would expect there to be as much. Alright, I'll take silent leading. Need for closing. Into the wild. Discover five. Or pack pack. That's so expensive. Discover five glades. Will I ever get five glades? I can see it all, so I can see myself getting five glades. I think I'm actually gonna pick a right. Yeah, and at the end you can just chop five glades and end the game with it. Uh, ancient tablet, chop four glades. I can do this one. Box resolve 24 and T. I have the tea house. Plus two porridge. Complete 10 trade routes. Mindful 15, plus 19, 34. It's like, if you know it's coming, it's almost scarier because you're like, oh my god. Trader arrives to hold it out. Oh. oh, you don't actually have planks. Gain 20 pottery. Hmm, too bad I don't have money. Keep Fox's Resolve above 24 for 120 seconds. Oh, the tea house, right. That's another reason to pick B. Oh, not that I really need it. Wait, did I open the right quid? Yes, I did. Oh, this one's also easy up there. Why, why did I open this one? Oh, it's because... Wait, why did I open this one? Is active only when the corresponding blade event is worked. Blah blah blah. Wait, no. You said I'd be okay! Negative three! Negative three isn't okay. You've led me astray again. Ron Empire wants to kill me. Wait, not ironically. He wants to kill me. Did you take left or right? Neither. But I'm I will take left. I guess I should just click it now. Quick, quick, quick. Huh, how do I get harpies plus four? Plus two from, oh, I have Harpy House. Mm, oh, oh hmm. Don't make me too sad if I trade this in.
Man, I'm... I'm like, how do I... How do I solve this? <sighs> Use blue water in... Oh. Oh, I see. That's what I mean. Okay. This is something I haven't thought about before, but it's actually a very good idea. The resolve setting of the water. But I want to have the heart be in charge here. Oh, but okay. Hmm. I see. Cancel the left, let the storm catcher pass, let the catcher hit three buildings, fail it. That's where you and I are different. It's easier, trust me. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. How? Trust me! Cancel that. No, trust me. Trust me. It only hits three buildings. Okay, I'll just solve it. I have no idea why you would fight me on this. I have it in the bag. The one on the right gives you reputation. Yeah, that's... Look at this stuff! Look at this stuff! Look at that stuff. You're just wrong here. I'm sorry to say. Four buildings fail is nothing. Okay. Her boomer. Let's see, can I finally get some pack of provisions? Huh. Oh no, wait, I'm out of food. Oh, panic. Hold on. It's possible to ignore the lightning catcher forever. Okay. You're pretty wild. Do I have any way to get food? Wait, did I just let that guy leave without- Well, I didn't have money. Wait, holy crap, we don't have food. Panic. Oh no, there's no food in here. Ah, panic! This is actually a problem. We ran out of mushrooms! Wait, actually panic though. <laughs> hmm. That guy doesn't sell food. Oh my goodness. Okay, we got some small in here. Destroyed Rain Punk Foundry. Hungry Mistworm. Oh, I'm starving myself. How do I get nothing that gives me food? Why am I never lucky? 
I'm crying. I can see the doom. Alright, hold on. I actually gotta think about it. I have all the information. Surely there's a way out. It's got to be a way out of this. So, I guess the first order of business is I definitely need to open a glade that actually has small things in it. That's only this one. With bleeding tooth mushrooms. It's mushrooms, it's good. Uh, so I have to deal with a destroyed rain punk foundry. Alright, destroyed rain punk foundry. Magical explosion destroys everything in an 18 field radius. Oh, that's actually quite good for me. Given that that can be ignored. Okay, solution I think found. Don't worry. It's easy. We just chop into a second forbidden glade very fast. The Rainpunk Foundry will open up all the adjacent glades when it explodes, though. Oh, well, good thing there's. Good thing it only. <laughs> it's fucked. Yo, do you see this food? Do you see this food? I was like, oh, I need to build a pack of provisions, and thank goodness I went to do that, because uh, then I realized our slight lack of food. Forager camp? Herbalist camp? Hello? Hmm. Can't do anything to get one more resolve, also. Do the clay deposits give food as a secondary yield? Oh, you're so smart. Refund. Why'd I just... Oh, they liked it in here. Wait, does the water run even while they're doing nothing? Interesting, I didn't know that. Grab the mushrooms! Grab the mushrooms! Ah, oh, what is this useless flower? Can I use flower for anything? Flower porridge, anyone? What was this? Oh, you can just salvage it. Oh, 
Oh, look at all that free stuff. Huh, awesome. Just salvage it, five head. And I have no food, so there's no downside. Every 90 seconds, high level of corruption. Oh, right, it's this day. Low on food. Oh, crap. When I bought those bricks. I should have bought more bricks. Needs three gears, so I guess I kill one of these. You have food in the soothsayer. It's a large berry. You can do the flower trick. Trick. Flower trick? Trick or treat me. Spawn flowers and put all people in it. What? They can't take breaks if they're on the fly. The funny thing is I've actually done that before. We do a little bit of mad science here. Light swarm. What's light swarming me? Oh, that must have been from the night. High level of corruption, 11x, 330%. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Why does it take so long? Oh, panic, panic. Wait, that's so many. That's so many of them. Stop harvesting, you'll lose it. Oh, yeah.
Hmm. Put the harpies on the flower. Now they'll just leave. Oh, we're talking about hunger. Um... <laughs> oh, it's gonna be so brutal. Oh my goodness. Help, I'm on fire. This runs on fire. Harpies are gonna die. I guess this is the time to swap them over. I guess I need that to have an eaten at least. Newcomers. Oh, welcome to the party. My stuff's about to actually be on fire. You know, you know, just, just for reference, knowing what I know now, the best play would have been to take this one right here, which has a destroyed Rainpunk foundry, and then I wouldn't have to deal with this lightning catcher. Just, just saying. Does it have Harpy? Your average can reset. Average bonus minus two. Huh. What a wild idea. <laughs> okay, okay. Holy crap, you're actually trying to sabotage me. You can average it out. Oh. Just wait. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, I'll just wait. No problem. Oh. 
destroyed it. Like all I know is there's a lot of fire, and we're about to enter this storm. I wonder how many people I'm allowed to lose. Oh, and the blight rot's about to be here too. Oh my god. Oh no. This is the run end. Oh no. It's over. It's so over. I can't believe it. I was doing so well. Holy cow, what, what bad stuff is here? Learning darkness, gathering speed, you lose water. Burning cysts take longer. Holy cow. If villagers don't have anything to eat, they take two stacks of the hunk. Oh my goodness. You got last stand, take advantage of the hostility. I, I can't. <laughs> Why is this is a joke? Cancel the lightning. Told you. Uh huh. You you didn't tell me anything. You you. Come on, come on. Are you crazy? Let it pass. It's 20 seconds! You're crazy. You're so crazy. Alright, alright, we're fine, we're fine. Oh my god. It's fine. Never give uh who do that. Oh, there's food in there. Human impatience then. <laughs> Queen, please forgive me. I still have no food, by the way. Well, I guess it's over here. Oh, I mean the blood flowers are still here, what can you do? Harpy on white, they're probably hungry. 
Oh, my two guys. Chance for double fill. See food nine two thirty seven. It's not going to cut it. You have to stay in the isolation chamber where it's happy. Guy in the water chamber, apparently. Okay, we made it. Unless. Hmm. Boxes are starving. Oh, I hate that. Okay, all right. Okay, I got issues. Every 
Every three burnt white root lowers hostility. All camp production is increased, but all buildings that use fertile soil have a yield decreased. Glade event work speed increased. Wow, it would've been nice. Um, every three burnt blight rot. I do have a few. Still hanging out. Uh, only three. So that's minus ten, I guess. Alright, take a moment. Breathe. I have 13 gas. You're four. I guess we'll be taking it slow and steady, maybe. Uh, I have... As soon as I get over this food problem, it might be okay. Let's see, I got 12 seconds on that flower, 1 minute 30 on that flower. So I shouldn't actually get food for a minute and 30. What should I be doing here? Maybe just gathering all this value. <laughs> On the bright side, we're rich. <laughs> of course, it's old Farlorf. Ugh. Okay, do I want anything? I'm gonna build a cookhouse with three more bricks. I should probably get three bricks. Get one tool, solve medium. Hmm. Imagine this guy coming into town, he's like, hey, how you doing? It's all on fire. Why did I even come here? This doesn't even do anything. Alright, building wise. Ah, does this give me a better idea of what I need to do here? It's still this stilly alchemist hut. Ah, oh, panic. Such bad house choices. I'm crying. Okay, our humans in the hearth. Hello, SD. You're catching me in a in an exciting game. been sitting at zero food for some time. Twenty seconds left on that flower, and then we need to start getting the food again. So this would probably be the time to start. Where are my harpies? Okay, so I need to get me those mushrooms. Very good. 
Oh, I got three mushrooms in here. Okay, okay. Oh, training gear. Maybe one of these boxes has good stuff. Oh, that's got 90 food in it. You have to evaluate the boxes here. Any woodcutter can carry five additional. Hmm, this is uh, a lot of mushrooms in it. It's the 15er that I'm opening. Unless I open this one. It's a good box also. Hmm. This is definitely the one that gets broken open. 16 of the 20. And then I either send this one or this one, whichever stuff I like less. This stuff... I'm feeling pretty hungry, so I should probably send to this little of this one. A fox died. Hunger. Oh. Unlucky. You need tablet, right? Did you take tablet order? Oh. Oh, there's two tablets, though. Not three. Uh, okay. I guess this is the one that gets... No, I need the- I need the food! I guess there's enough food here. Oh, yeah. Take tablet, get one from node. Oh. These good fuel. Ah, oh, yes. Cool. We'll need it. Box died. Pause hunger. Hmm. Should probably warp these mushrooms back. Yikes. I wonder if the newcomers, if you get more when you're behind, that would make sense as a catch-up mechanism. Mmm, catch-up. Why the jerky have to be at the end? I could have sworn I- oh, do I have- oh. <laughs> oh. There you go, you can eat the, uh, you can eat the mushrooms. Okay, it's still good, it's still good. Human on the hearth, Queen's Impatience, point eighteen, Belly of Goods sold, four out of sixteen. 
The birds are chirping. Life is good. I need to sell some goods so I can complete that quest. Uh, what was I doing? So we need packs. There's no way I can get packs. Hmm. Supplier has food. What's your reward on the right? What? Amber trade? Um, let's see. Oh, supplies. The ruins building. Oh, supplier. Oh yeah, I was checking this and it was like, ah, trash. Alright. Well, on the bright side... Oh, I was gonna be like, I'm gonna make it to three, but I might not. Oh, well, maybe if I favor it. No, no. It's still only one person. Okay, small town, small town. Newcomers are almost here. You know, unlucky, that's. Uh, yeah, nothing, nothing. No, I never... I, I think I got offered the field kitchen once, but I passed on it. It's not like I even have the raw materials for it. The problem on this map is just that I didn't have food. I only began with 20 food. And I probably... Well, anyways. Uh, hmm, I wonder what I should choose. I feel like if I fall too far behind in population, uh, we're just gonna lose to time. Hmm. But maybe we need the food. That's a lot of food. Oh, I am opening this crate. The box has so much food in it. Uh, yeah. I'll just... One extra guy. Uh, I need the food. Oh, oh. Got me. Okay, berries and insects. Skewers. Foxes like skewers. Yum yum. Wonder how I wonder if I can get the yeah, with the porridge and the skewers. That's what, plus nine? That's twenty. I can get the foxes to twenty-four. And then they can drink some tea and be very happy in our lovely little town.
Holy cow, I'm so rich. storm comes, I don't think it will affect it. Yeah, it certainly won't affect anything. Wait, why am I at seven food only? Oh. Make warehouse closer so you can get food faster. see. 2.98 reputation! Oh, I might... Alright, I can get it. 0 0.06 reputation for a minute. Camp move trick. Oh. Tricky. Praise the goddess, the true queen. Late event work speed increased by 30%. Trade routes are worth three more amber. The people are feeling rebellious. Expected gain 11. That's, uh, that's not bad. You are my true queen! Bring on more newcomers! Rebels are welcome here. Can I finally trade? Trading is so fun. I miss it. My packs, my poor packs.
so what gets me people? The fox villagers gets me four foxes, that's good. Choose an order. Four ancient tablet. Oh, what happened to my ancient tablets? Oh, they're in here. Not shooting. Okay, um, bull's training gear. Yeah, that's the thing that I should use all this water on. Since you can make tea, you can boost resolve and win. Oh, the E building. Interesting. Oh no! As I gain reputation, I will gain less resolve from the spirits. Unlucky. Hello. Okay, I have seventy-one dollars. Hey, plantation. Yeah, seems like a good idea to buy that. My hard won farm. Buy both farms. Hmm. I don't know about that one. There's a water. Pretty hard to get. Take it out of the blueprint roll. You're not thinking big enough, sir. We can actually use the money on fabric or something. If only there were bricks for sale. Or we could alternatively buy all the goods. Taking it out of one pool is... Oh, out of the pool, I see. Um... I definitely want to buy some of this, though. Resolve and win. Yeah, I guess they don't eat that much stuff, so I can buy all the cool stuff. We certainly want to buy biscuits. Yum, yum, yum. That's oh, a double. And then I'd like to actually get in the pack game. So I should get six of these. Oh, yeah. So I can finally build one pack. Oh my god, I bought the thing that can't be made into a pack. Ooh, 
Knappen. Keep the change, Sorg. I just not look. Travel cost and trade routes is reduced by negative one. I'm guessing that doesn't reduce it to zero. Gain two pack per ten. Oh, so I pick other one. Grab four more guys. Oh, it does reduce to zero. Sick. Now that's value. Holy cow. If you minus one one and it costs one, that's ludicrous. the amber with a market or if I think I can get even more ancient tablets to unlock the last pack hmm we can get ancient tablets what are the chances I get a market what do I want from here I think here I pick greenhouse Unless I want to build pottery for some reason. We already have. Greenhouse in your blueprint. If you bought it off trader, it rolls for free. That's funny. Uh, now where was I? Um... I was thinking about the container game. I've got 40 water skins already. Now, seems silly to... well actually... Do I want mushroom? Yeah, to make porridge. Yeah, let's get this. I can't just relax and do a uh, say I have free win. Got hit pretty hard, you know. You know, you know.
Okay, so I guess I'll see if there's a market in the next pack. And if there isn't, then we'll do the next thing. I should look up uh, what I have for these things. I opened so much cool stuff. Now I might be able to tackle some of these. Uh, Fishman Soothsayer. So they're looking for the weapons. I don't have that. Hungry Mistworm. They are looking for... I don't have that. Destroyed Rain Punk Foundry. That does not actually have a reputation reward. Noxious Machinery. Purging Fire. And I have a bunch of that stuff. So that one's a good one. Newcomers! Luxury. So one. Mm, brew for the tavern. Also pickled goods. Gonna need containers someday. You guys, bring it. A temple, religion, and education. Okay. Finally, back to harvesting the early, uh, original play. Here's the random pack of building materials I accidentally made. Boo.
40 scrolls. I already have 40. 35 coats. Okay, on the next day, we assault Noxious Machinery, I believe is what I came up with. Oh, this has two crates in it. And a provisioner. I need to make sure I have a bunch of uh, this stuff. We also need herbs. Reinforced road. Wow. I should make some of these someday. That is fun. They're like the thing that you never think about making. Oh no, minus 5% speed. My queen! Give me more stuff! Trade routes are worth 3 more amber. Scales along with the quantity. All camp production is increased by 100%. Does not affect woodcutters. Newcomers will arrive faster. So realistically, I don't need to do any more, but on the other hand, the food is no longer worth anything, so I might as well pick one. All camp production increased by 100. I have a bad camp, so trade routes are worth three more amber. That actually combos with the other one. Alright. Bye, food. This is definitely the first game where I built one of these. Uh, only thanks to a reminder of chat. Out of the free food now. I have another woodcutter's camp lying around somewhere. I think I deleted it. Well, it's time to bring back the old team.
there, if we pretend what happened, like, half an hour ago, uh, never happened, then this looks like a normal run now. Nothing exciting happened here. Close game. Not even close, I mean. built everything. So I want to get my tavern up. Right, I'm trying to win in six, I guess. On six? Hilda, welcome to our lovely village. Thank you for bringing basic building materials. That's pretty tempting, isn't it? Okay, let me think about it. Uh, any mushrooms? There are lots of mushrooms around. Alright, I guess I'm obligated to take that. Then I'll be more precise with what I need. So I have a few of both. The temple needs 12 and 12. I think I have not that much to build either with. Need for religion, fulfilled decreases the force hostility by five. Okay, it's like minus 40 potentially. Or more. With time. Four humans. Where are my humans at? Oh, Drizzle. Also.
So you gained reputation 2, 1.2.4, Revisioner. So none of this should surprise me. No, oh, but surprise. Uh, Alright, so I need 12 purging fire. Tablet. Two more tablet. These are both good boxes. So I guess that means I'm taking the tablet quest. And then I need to get something that makes boxes. Wait, what happened to my food? Aren't I producing a ton of it? Perfect crew. Okay, if I assume I'll get those four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five left. That's one for four. Wherever my tinker is. I build so many of these. It appears that I need lots of wood. White Swarm. High level of corruption. Let's see, what's this timing? 990 a minute. 
Hmm. I don't actually have a good gauge of. I need two of these toasts for 300%. I guess I'll do it just in case. I don't even have the wood for one. Uh huh. Yeah, it looks like it'll burn all of them, at least. Seven ancient tablets. Cool. I don't believe I can win on this round. Low on food. I'll just walk it in to a year seven win instead of trying to go for it this round. Plus three porridge, but not enough farming. Oh, here's the market. Um, ooh. What I clearly need is wood. I think I'd be so food strapped on the uh, royal wood map. Although I guess I did have to spend 200 on fuel. Happy little district. So, noxious machinery takes a lot. Alright, let's take a look at what some of these up next ones do. Wildfire. Requirements to wildfire essence. Fuel disappears. I have a lot of that. Yeah, we can do that. Ancient burial site. Pack of building materials. I definitely don't have that. More tools. Uh, Fishman Soothsayer, which people said were er easy earlier. This one requires training gear. 
More tools are stone. I believe I have that. Kind of. First of all, I need, need wood. Guys. It started at about three hundred percent max. Looks like 300% max can be handled with one. <laughs> Do I want the third? No, nah, that's ridiculous. But what are they out of curiosity? Increase the production yield of packs. Patience doesn't grow when villagers die or leave. Cute. I think I'm gonna fight the soothsayer. Training gear. War 45 stone. 34 stone. I would rather it be building pools, but oh well. And then here's a good ending one. That gets me some tools, that gets me some tools. So I'm gonna want to discover two glades at the end here. Noxious machinery isn't that bad if it activates, which means I can discover it and then open the crate and not deal with it. And then I actually deal with this thing in the middle.
in the meantime, I still need a ton of planks. This market is big. Basic trading goods? Wow. Who's the man? You're the man. 25% the clearance in case I needed it. Some containers. I was running out. Clothing. Walk it in. In 12 amber for every 15 ale. Let's get 10 bucks. I could actually use this. I could actually use this very much. Noticed that the greenhouse almost had only had one person. One, two, three, four, five, six, six boxes left. Point six reputation off of you, point two reputation off of you, so that's one. Get one from here. Oh, I forgot about this uh, drawback. Hmm. I guess I will simply not do it. I will actually do this again since I accidentally kept building fire. Maybe you plan? Someone pulled this off. 
It's hmm. looking for the, uh, the drag him over hotkey. Missed my 20 pottery, whatever. Wait. Oh. Two more, which I should be able to do easy. done this but yeah that's it's not happening Two picks, give me the last thing. No, I don't need it. Alright, not even close to the game. Phew. Two reputation, four reputation, one reputation. Four reputation foxes. Going for five. They're such good fox. Such a good fox. Good fox, good fox. <laughs> what a run. Ooh, two exclamation marks. Crashed airship. An old beaver in a captain's blazer notices you, yells out for help. Provide fuel. Win before your eight ends with 300 stormwater. Gain 20 pipes and sea marrow. Provide spare parts. Gain a blessing for one game. If I click this, do I have to win at that spot? It would make sense, the crashed airship. This is like one of the problems I think of the exclamation marks. Uh, there was one that I was thinking would make me go on that spot, but it didn't. 
Uh, wandering Eremite. Old beaver in rugged clothing. Perhaps you can learn from him? Lose five years, gain a blessing for two games. Blueprint rerolls cost 10 less amber for the next two games. Gain five seal of fragments. Oh, we're gonna go ahead and schedule on the bottom. This is actually tempting because I could actually, in the next two games, go for the final. Uh, so anyways, this is... This forces me to go there. Interesting. I certainly hadn't expected... No, I left it as an option. It's actually fine. I could do this. And then I'll begin with uh, 20 pipes and 30 sea marrow. It's pretty good. One bump 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 two bump 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 one bump 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 oh I'm a little short. This is a real question mark. Bump 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 okay. I can always do the plus two range to go in. I also am not necessarily in the final part. Hmm. Okay, so I think here's the plan. I'll trade for the seals. I go up to 92 seals. I go here for the world event. I go up to 96 seals? 98? One in the middle. And then I plus two my way here. So basically, one, two, three. 31 years. Uh, this one has to be done in eight. Uh, so I'll be like way ahead of schedule uh, because I could do two more, but I don't believe that'll be necessary. Also, I won't be getting more powerful from here on out unless I hit exclamation marks. The ones that lock you into the spot are when it says to win for something. Hmm. Right, I'll get the two other ones here. And we are fully upgraded. That means there is no, almost no upside to doing more. Uh, so yeah, I think I'm going to like, we'll win with time to spare, potentially. I was five to six towns in and still only had four upgrades. Well, I did a lot of danger runs. And uh, some of my early towns were doubles, which are pretty cool. Fun little path. <laughs> this is the Viceroy hug. Viceroy lo uh, line hug. Okay, so recap. Um, trade for seals, 92. Crashed airship. It'll run for, if I do 11, that's 7. So 92, 99, 106, and then go in. Yeah. 106, 107, something like that. Yep, that's good. We got a plan. Ninety-two. Yeah, this is okay. Okay. Crash airship gets you pipes for the seal objective. I do remember that the seal objective uh, does want you to build a bunch of what should we call it? A bunch of engines. Yeah, that's good. Rain engines. It's like uh, it wants you to do the cool mechanics. 
Create a bunch, build lots of rainwater stuff. Uh, have a bunch of money. Do a bunch of danger. Da 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 danger. Da da da. da, 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 da. Oh, which does mean that I can therefore take plus four reserve embarkation points. Spark due for the four embark. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I like this 30 pipe thing, I think. Also, then I can be more cowardly and not do a prestige 15. Now that's that's a minor part. Anyways, plus four, do this. Uh, 90, nine, do this, 107, do this. Yep, that's solid plan. Good plan, always works. Even if it doesn't work, I can like, uh, if I need to dodge this, I can still have time to dodge. Very good. Uh, yeah. Only reason why I'm stalling a little bit is because I'm hungry, so it's time for dinner, and when I'm back, I will finish this run out. For you on YouTube, we just continue. <laughs> 